Okay, then this is your exercise buddy. Um, excuse me, not being able to see my head, but it should work. Hopefully you can see just there, the arrows. As I pull up that big toe, the arrows start to rotate that way to my right. Ball a big toe, ball a little toe, heel down. If you see the, the toes doing more work, it's gonna capsize you inwards. If you get the big toe doing more work, it's gonna capsize you outwards. Now, one way to help get that is if we stick the weight just lightly under the inside of the heel. So basically, as I rotate over the top, and this is just very gentle, and you put one hand on your chest, and then you can see that there, one hand on your pelvis, and you keep a line between the two. So literally, all you're doing is moving your pelvis. So your right leg's kind of like a gate post. Your pelvis is like the gate which is rotating over the top. This leg just stays straight. And left heel lifts up, so the knee kind of points where my finger's pointing. Got it? So if you do that, that lifts the arch naturally and gets the arrow pointing roundwards. Then you can start playing with lifting the toe as well to pattern it that way. That kind of gets it to remember what it needs to do, emphasizing that big toe, obviously. Um, other ways to do it, you can play with this. We're gonna do this in, in session, but you need a book to push your weight away from the wall, because if your calf is like mine, it needs a lot more range on there. Um, but again, if you haven't got a big TV screen above you, which is really hard here, because I have, you can wedge the big toe up, and then gently rotate over the top of it. So if, you imagine that's your weight, it's the wrong way round, but you get the gist. Then I rotate over the top that way. You can even practice pressing down with just your big toe, pulling up just your big toe off the wedge that way. So you've got something to try and lift it up of while the other toes stay down. So that's gonna start getting you in the groove of finding that big toe again in the rotation. That's your homework with the idea that next time I see you, when you step back to do that hamstring lengthening, you pull up the big toe, pull up the whole foot leading with the big toe, which then leaves the weight not only at the back of the heel, but the outside of the back of the heel. That bit's important. So then when we stretch back, and I'll show you that there's different ways we can move the hips with this and everything, different things we can do with the arms, but we definitely get that load on the outside, which is gonna lengthen down that scar on the fibula, and then set off the chain reaction, our biceps femoris, which then goes into your sacral tuberous ligament and holds your sacroiliac joint nice and tight, which is always lovely for that hip. Um, yeah, any questions, give us a bell. But until next time, buddy, enjoy.